Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on uh, Quantum Break, and we are going to be hopping into the live-action Prisoner. Time is breaking down. Monarch has been preparing for it. There's this thing. It's called a lifeboat protocol, and it can save us, at least some of us. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Martin. But let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. You're not thinking clearly. You need to treat it. You gonna go? Me? Go to a party. We can roll together if you want. What do you want? Anyone who might implicate Monarch. Fuck you. Hmm. Wait! We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. Find him. Step away! Right now! Liam, this isn't what it looks like. No. No! He's gone! We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. Treatments. They're losing their effectiveness. You're fine. No. I need to work on something new. You should enjoy yourself tonight. You work too much as it is. I've been running tests on the temporal anomalies. They're increasing in frequency and duration. They'll dissipate. I've told you that. You need to consider that maybe what you have seen is wrong. It's not wrong. to prepare for my speech. Sophia, you shouldn't worry so much. You haven't touched your drink. I am mean, just not. I'm not really into drinking a lot, I guess. Oh. <laughs> Rough day? Yeah. Yeah. Same here. Like what? I have things happen in my day. I do. Uh -huh. We had to, uh, I had to deal with some internal affairs. Internal affairs? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're just gonna leave me hanging? Well, yeah, it's internal. <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> okay. 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 I helped catch a traitor today. Traitor? Was that what all that commotion was about? Yep. Yeah. Okay. That was me. Who was it? I mean, hmm? Who was it? <laughs> who was the. Who, who was it? Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Uh... What? I am not at liberty to discuss this. Well, you just brought it up. It's like, uh, well, monarch drama. <laughs> yeah. What? Well, I guess, I guess I'm just gonna have to leave you hanging on that one. For real, this time. Oh, I just thought maybe you'd wanna share it with me. All right, I'm gonna use the restroom. So, I'll leave you hanging here, for real. Okay. Go mingle. Okay. 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 Right.
Thanks for the gun. Dr. Ramro? Martin, I need your help. He listens to you. Paul. Is that so? I think we're in trouble, and he doesn't see it. He refuses to. I can't imagine why. I know you and I haven't always seen eye to eye, but I know you care about Monarch. You care about what happens. And if we are reaching zero state, something has to be done. And what is it we could do? You know what we could do. Truth is, Sophia, it's not really a matter of whether or not Paul will listen to me. It's that I won't listen to you. I find your approach to matters rather counterproductive. Filling Paul's head with your constant alarmism, distracting him with petty doomsday scenarios. I mean, if I'm being honest, I rue that day he gave you a modicum of function in this company. Because you said, I care about Monarch. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? Do I look threatened to you? What's going on? It's nothing. We were just having a little chat. You should prepare for your speech. Enjoy your evening, Doctor. Hey, you're Crocker, right? Hey, Crocker! Crocker! I really need to take a shit. Fuck, come on, Croc. Crocker. Crocker! Come on, Crocker! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Over there. Where? The woman with the necklace. Mm. My money is on that. Mm hmm. It's a pretty good choice, yeah. but I'm gonna have to go with Ryan Gosling down there talking with George Clooney. Wearing his nice cufflinks, chatting about stocks. Yeah. Wow. Uh oh. She's going for it. No. Bam. No. Told ya. Oh. Why am I losing you owe me so a bad? Sword. I don't think I can drink. drink. Anymore. I don't think no, I can. No, rules are rules. Rules are rules. Rules are fucking rules. You owe me another sword. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm doing it. Oh, I actually hate all of this. You can do it, my man. You Thanks for your encouragement. <laughs> Thank you. I just wish I wasn't losing so bad. Do you want to go for a walk? Yeah. Okay. All right, lady. I'm taking, I'm taking mine too. Crocker, 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 Crocker. Hey, buddy. Crocker! Crocker! Burke! Crocker! Hey, buddy. Hey, 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 hey. Burke, hey, listen. If I have to come in there, you're gonna fucking regret it. Listen, this is just a big misfucking understanding. I'm gonna be out tomorrow. Oh, wouldn't a good word for you? I will help you climb this ladder. All I'm asking is please let me take a fucking shit. 
Go to the back wall. Fuck, thank you, man. Thank you so much. Come on. Oh, man. Thank you. Shut up. Back up slowly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't really excited about going in the first place. Okay, why'd you go? I think, because somebody twisted my arm. Okay, that, what the fuck is that? Kind of looks like a dinosaur wearing a helmet. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. Wh hey, where are we? Are we even allowed to be out here? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> So what would you have been doing tonight if you didn't go? What, if I hadn't gone to the party with you? Yeah. Well, I would have canceled all my other really important plans. Ah. Uh, and I would have gone back to work. I think maybe you work a little too much. Yes. Again, <laughs> well, no, I mean, I, I, it doesn't feel like work. You know, I like being wired in. Yeah. Makes me feel connected. You work all the time. In fact, you're there most of the time I'm there. So, do you think you work too much? Maybe. I don't know. I am there. I guess, yeah. I love work. Hold oh, right shit. there! Shit! Hey, you oh, little fuck. fuck. Hey, hey, what? All you had to do was let me in that perimeter lab. You turned on Monarch. What was I supposed to do? You have no idea what's going on, do you? I need to get in that lab. There's something in there that I need. The lifeboat protocol. You work with Beth Wilder. I've seen you before. You know her? She's the reason I'm here. still necessary? Yeah. Come on, hurry up. You're a very kind person. right up here. Oh, right. You, I got it, guys. I got it. I guess you guys can't do this. It's a special talent I have. Glad it's so celebrated. <laughs> What is that? Is that? 
and disrupted life form. Extremely hostile. Only ever heard of them. Life form. It's Dr. Kim. Do you know who I am? Martin Hatch, Paul's um, other half. What the hell is that supposed to mean? I see the monarch's well-being. Oftentimes, the matters Paul may find them um, well, arbitrary. So you're his assistant? A little more complex than that. It doesn't sound like it. Now, I consider and offer you my condolences for your brother, and, uh, well, you can tell me to fuck off. I can tell you Paul doesn't want you to suffer the same fate, and you can tell me to fuck off. Or, I could point out that there's a difference between Paul and myself. You see, Paul, he... Well, he still has such hope for the world, whereas I lean towards a more realistic approach. Trouble is, I believe that with hope comes miscalculation. And as you and I are well aware, Mr. Joyce, with miscalculation can often come catastrophe. Paul's a very dangerous man, practically a zealot. And things will only get worse if he continues unchecked. And that leaves me with you, Mr. Joyce. Maybe you and I can find some common ground. He was my mentor from uh, college and then here to Monarch. I was in uh, a bad place and he kind of turned me around. Got it. Sort of. I mean, it's, it's a ghost file. It's remnant of mass deletion. Somebody was here. We got the um, Cronin Field Regulator. Wait, hold on. Holy shit, this is Dr. Amaral's report. What is it? The stutters, they're, they're increasing in frequency. What's a stutter? The more frequent the stutters, the more indicative of a fracture. Okay, and what's a fracture? Of time. Zero state, it stops, and it doesn't start back up. And the LiPo protocol could save us. I have no idea, but the, the Cronon field regulator, it is the core of Monarch's time tech. Everything is based upon it. And it, it has something to do with the lifeboat. We have to go. Wait. No, 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 no! This way, this way! Turn! No, 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 don't, don't, don't! You'll end up like her. Fiona! The lab is stutter proof. Stay here. At the stutter? Where are you going? There are cone on harnesses up here. We need them.
Almost on! Alright guys, that is going to do it for that, um, for that episode. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of differences in this one, but there were some, uh, and it was a little bit interesting. There wasn't much for me to comment on, that's why I wasn't, didn't really say anything. Um, but that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.